g'day guys this will be my review of the pulsar helion 2 xp50 pro thermal scanner it has a base mag of 2.5 a 640 by 480 sensor with a 17 micron pixel pitch an netd of less than 25 millikelvins a new larger actual 50 millimeter f1 germanium lens full color amoled ip screen at 1024 by 768 and a magnesium body what the f does all that mean it's a well-built thermal with high-end bits and bobs that has an amazing image. Straight up, full clarity, Pulsar did send me this device to use over an extended period of time for the review. I've had it in the field for about 150 hours, so hopefully I've gauged all the highs and maybe the lows of the device and we can go through those in the review. I think you'll find things reasonably unbiased, so let's jump in. General form factor and size. It's a bit larger than other scanners I've used, but it's very well built with the magnesium housing. Button layout, yeah, it works fine, but I've found to get the best experience with the Helion, I use two hands. I don't have massive hands, and the buttons took a bit of adjusting too, being a bit spread out. Sometimes I mix them up even now, after using it exclusively for a period of time. It's quite a long scanner, and while I love the hand strap, sometimes I struggle with hitting the correct button in the darkness. It's not bad by any means, but the button feel with the same height and just a rubber ring in the center, they all feel similar. It's easy to swap between two color modes. A press and hold on the front button takes you between white hot. Have a look at my Patreon and I'll see everyone next time. With Scion Thermal Monoculars, you can see in complete darkness and other low light conditions. Scion detects humans, wildlife, and objects in the most extreme environments. And now, with long-range optics, Scion helps you get the job done faster from a safer distance. I'd like to introduce the new 36mm edition of Scion. This new lens extends your thermal detection range over 1,000 meters, giving you the ability to monitor suspicious activity, detect intruders, and observe wildlife and livestock at greater distances. In addition, the 36mm Scion features a manual focus ring to capture the sharpest image possible. Whether keeping a safe standoff distance or scanning ridgelines for a lost backpacker, long-range optics help make sure everyone gets home safe. For more information on long-range Scion monoculars... the Axion 2 XM30F. The XM30F is there to be as a sort of direct replacement as to the XM22. Um, as I say, it just comes with obviously a 30mm lens. Nice small compact unit and obviously price-wise it does offer quite an affordable piece of kit if you can't necessarily stretch to the higher end stuff. Nice little rubber eyepiece on the back, obviously your main menu, menu systems on the top. Does work with stream vision, which is a big bonus of course if you're out with your shooting buddy or of course you just want to say sit in your car when it's a bit cold, just scan outside the windows and you can just see it on your phone or your tablet inside. Um, removable battery, APS-3, as it was with the original Axions, push the button at the front and see that just pops out nicely. Slides in, match the marker at the top with the marker in the top of the battery, um, battery compartment I should say, sorry, and then that just that goes in like that and, and there you have it. Um, I say that has been the Pulsar Axion 2 XM30F. I hope you've enjoyed this video. The FLIR TK Scout Thermal Monocular. Let's check it out. For a number of years, I've seen the huge advantage of thermal imaging. Uh, it's really an incredible technology picking up body heat or picking up any heat. Uh, and that heat translates into being able to see even better than night vision. Uh, whereas with night vision, even military grade night vision, you can see it's almost like daylight, but there are things that can be hidden that cannot hide from thermal imaging. Now there are a lot of reasons to have thermal imaging, not just necessarily for a security role, but also just if your pet's outside, you can't see, you can bring out your thermal imaging, uh, you can see where they are, even in pitch black darkness with no light. The battery, and it is a lithium ion battery, lasts about five hours, uh, it has a memory card in there, about 1.78 gigabytes. Hey, I'm Jimmy over at Vortex Optics, here to introduce you to our Solo Recon Tactical Monocular, which is offered in an 8x36 configuration. So let's take a closer look at the Solo Recon Tactical and see some of the features that make it such a great choice for observation and range estimation. Starting with the lenses of the monocular, 
The Solo RT's lenses are fully multi-coated with non-reflective coatings added, which provide excellent light gathering capability in low light situations. The monocular is O-ring sealed and nitrogen purged, making the Solo RT waterproof and fogproof. The monocular comes complete with textured rubber armor for added grip and durability. Another really nice feature of the Solo RT is that it comes complete with the utility clip on the back, which clips easily to a vest or belt for quick field access. We also have two different focusing mechanisms. The larger ring focuses the image, while the smaller ring allows the observer to properly focus the reticle for their eye for optimal target milling capability. And last but not least, the rubber eye cup is flared to block out stray light and can rotate to either side to fit right or left eye dominant observers. The eye cup can also fold down depending on what the observer prefers to have for eye relief. So if you're a tactical operator or maybe a long range hunter who needs excellent optical quality and range estimation capabilities in a lightweight compact package, the Solo RT monocular would be my recommendation to you. And should you choose to purchase the Solo RT, or any of our monoculars for that matter, you can rest assured in knowing that it is covered by our unlimited, unconditional, lifetime VIP warranty.